called our newsroom and she has her ring back today. Thousands of quilters are heading downtown for the 33rd annual show. Quilting indeed. Fox 5's resident quilter Jason Handman is live at the convention center with the preview. Oh, Hi Jason. Jason, you just crack me up. <laughs> That's right, you know, quilting, who knew it was my thing, but it is this morning and it can be your thing this weekend. In fact, today, tomorrow and Saturday, it is the 33rd annual San Diego quilt show here at the convention center and take a look around me. We are in hall A of the convention center and there are, well, it looks like hundreds and hundreds of quilts here at the San Diego convention center and look at the, in fact, look at this quilt over here. This is like a whole quilt that looks like a page right out of a yearbook. The Christian Unified Football Championship quilt from La Mesa. Wow. So this is amazing. There's some of the most fascinating quilts here. And I want to come back this way and bring in a lady who knows all about quilting because there's not much that I know about the art of quilting, but I'm very interested in it. This is Pam Kay. She's the president of the San Diego Quilt Show. Pam? What do people need to know about the quilt show? Quilting is not what it used to be. It's not just little old pieces, little old grannies sitting down cutting up quilt pieces and putting them back together. Now it's, you see behind us, it's art, it's um, magnificent, it's a passion, it's an addiction. You get started on it and you can't quit. Now let me ask you a question. Have you noticed like the age range changing over the years? Like are younger people starting to get involved in quilting? Absolutely. They're, they're in the modern age movement, it's called, and it's a different style. It's typically traditional quilting, but with a modern twist, a lot more negative space, they call it, a lot more white space and very interesting uh, patterns and maybe a little bit quicker, a lot of kit quilts and wool. And your, conv your show goes on today, tomorrow and Saturday. Uh, how much is admission? Admission is $10 for a wristband and you get unlimited admission to the quilt show all three days. So they ha you have all these quilts hanging right here and then on the other side of the room are some of the vendor booths we're going to see coming up in the nine o'clock hour. If we can do a little bit of a project ourselves, we're going to see if we can uh, get that going. And I also want to bring in right here, this is my grandma right here, Hello. Grandma Marsha. Hi, Grandma. Hi. Now you were a quilter at one point in your life. You made me a beautiful blanket. What happened? Uh, I guess I got a little tired of it and I wasn't that artistic. These are here are just magnificent and I wasn't in that category. It was a beautiful quilt. Now, being here at the quilt show, have you thought, I need to get back into quilting? It's certainly making me think that way. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see what we can pull up together. My grandma and I, perhaps we can, you know, make a quilt in the next 45 minutes or so and uh, get something together Jason. for the nine o'clock okay. hour. It is the 33rd annual quilt show. First, yes, Shirley. First of all, please tell uh, grandma hello. It's so nice to finally meet her. We've heard so many wonderful stories about your grandma. Ah, they said uh, hello. It's so nice to meet you. They've heard so many wonderful stories about you. Oh, and that, very nice to meet you. I've been watching you every day. <laughs> oh, she it. watches every day and and where she lives, everyone in the hallway, she says, do you know my grandson? He's on Fox 5. You two look so alike. Look at you two. That's great. But that's Thank what you. happens, yeah, grandma a, to grandson. There's like a satellite Aww. lag there. It takes him four minutes to hear us. He's, he's next door practically. You guys are so cute. All right, Jason, Thanks, thank Jason. you. At 817, still ahead on Fox 5, the NFL season officially kicks off tonight.